Incredible man, Leonardo da Vinci asked, why does the eye see a thing more clearly in dreams than the imagination when awake? Optometrists are the people who help keep our vision clear and focused. Is it an enjoyable profession and what does it take to become one? I asked Zena Jacobson about it. It's often said that eyes are the windows to the soul, but they're a lot more than that. They give a lot of information about your mental and physical state. In fact, 80% of what we learn and take in is through our eyes. So obviously it's important to look after these incredible organs. Optometrists do that, the vision side of things, and Zena Jacobson is one of them. Thank you. Why the appeal for optometry? Jane, optometry is a wonderful profession. It is a profession where you deal with healthy people, you have an instant result to helping people when they have a problem. It's not like a doctor or uh, anything else where you have to give them antibiotics and see after a few days if they get better. With optometry, you, you do an eye examination, you find out exactly what's wrong, you put on a pair of spectacles and you've immediately help the patient. They can see properly and you've sorted out their problems. It's, it's just instant um, satisfaction. satisfaction. All right, and what do you learn about people's eyes? What do they tell you about them and, I don't know, the world? People's eyes are all different. I think people have a lot of misconceptions about vision. They are, a lot of people are scared to get their eyes tested because it might mean something that it doesn't mean. And I think that people need to be, their fears need to be allayed about having eye, eye examinations and wearing spectacles. And it's, it's something that I enjoy doing. I like to sit with my patient and discuss what their problems are and how to solve them. How do you become an optometrist? You, it's a four-year degree at a university. We have four universities in South Africa. You need a, a good matric, an entrance exam. You need to have a good maths marks, uh, maths and science. What happens after you've got your degree? Once you've got your degree, you go straight into private practice. So there are options. You can go into private practice. You can go into uh, the, the public health facilities. Unfortunately at this stage it's not huge for optometry, it's not a uh, something where there's a lot of work but there is a lot of posts is rather the way to put it, but there's a lot of work. There are a lot of people in our communities that need glasses, that need optometric care, that we are, we are really gatekeepers, we're primary care workers. We're normally the people that uh, the, the, that are seen first when they have a problem, when they've got vision, pr visual problems. They come to an optometrist and find out what it is, why am I going blind, why can't I see? And we're trained in the diagnostics. We're trained very well in working out exactly if the patient needs further referral to an ophthalmologist, a doctor. Yes, That's what's the difference between you and an ophthalmologist? An optometrist is our profession deals solely in vision and correction of vision. An ophthalmologist is a doctor that is specialized in eyes and they're the ones that do the treatments, the surgery, they treat eyes and then once you need glasses that they're finished they would send that patient to an optometrist for further care. And very quickly, last one, glasses versus surgery. There's surgery, or you, I assume you mean laser surgery. Yes. Now laser surgery is not going to correct everything. Laser surgery does basically those people who are short-sighted or myopic, that are fairly badly myopic, it does correct the vision. And um, it works for a lot of people. This laser surgery today is way more safe than it used to be and it, it works very well but you will still become presbyopic so if you have the laser surgery in your 30s or so and you have good 10 good years of clear vision you are still going to need reading glasses and the thing with people who have had laser surgery think I'm going to throw my glasses away and I'm never going to use glasses again Good. 
it's not necessarily true. You certainly will never go back to what kind of vision you had, but you might sometimes need a slight adjustment. It might be a little blurry. So even after laser surgery, you do sometimes need to wear a very light pair of glasses for distance. Okay. But if you're so. over 40, you will definitely need them for reading. Okay, well clearly I'm not there yet, yet, but while I'm here yes. anyway, why don't you do a test? <laughs> I would be happy to do so. Okay.